You know, my man right here, Scott Garceau, when he started the radio show at 105.7, he said, take everybody's calls, take little kids' calls, up to 120-year-old grandma calls, and they took Mo Gabba's call. Mo Gabba's legacy lives on just blocks away from one of his favorite places. The inspirational 14-year-old was a Ravens Orioles super fan who died in July, a lengthy battle with cancer. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs joins us now from the new Mo Gabba way. West West Street, which leads directly to the Ravens Stadium, is now Mo Gabba Way, a physical reminder of the impact Mo had on so many people. The official unveiling, Baltimore! Welcome to Mo Gabba Way. A truly special day for a young man who inspired so many. What he has done and how many people he has touched in his 14 years of his life, I can be more proud. His mom, Sonzi, wiping away tears, seeing her son Mo's name turned into a street sign for all to see. I love it. Like, this is, this is everything. But still, she had to joke, thinking about how her son, with his infectious smile and upbeat personality, would react. That's pretty cool. It's about to rain your What? They did that for me? <laughs> that's so bo. That's, yeah, that's so bo. <laughs> 14-year-old Mo Gabba became one of the most well-known Ravens and Orioles super fans. He died in July after a lengthy battle with cancer. He just wanted to live every day like it was the best day of his life. Mo became enormously popular during his calls to 105.7 The Fan to talk sports, and he bonded with players and coaches on his visits to Ravens practices. He became the first person to announce an NFL draft pick in Braille in 2019. Through it all, he displayed tremendous courage in his fight against cancer. Mo Strong became his thing. It's not a hashtag. It's not a t-shirt. It's a way of life. And so today we stand in Mo Gabba's way to say that every day we can and will be winners. Most close friend, Jeremy Kahn of 105.7 The Fan, worked with former Baltimore City Councilman Joe de Blasi to make Mo Gabaway become a reality. Today truly is a day for giving thanks for the life and courageous spirit of Mo Gabba. Governor Larry Hogan issuing a proclamation for Mo Gabaway Day, December 2nd, and it just so happened to be the day of a Ravens game. Uh, and I just think this is a great way to carry on his legacy. His thing is like he wants like to smile. If a street side makes you smile, then that would make him happy. This is just one of the many ways they're honoring Mo. Next month, they'll be selling talking bobbleheads, and all the proceeds will go to pediatric cancer. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News.